My name is Alexandra Claussen. I'm the Fine Arts Department Coordinator here at Robert Bateman Secondary. I've been a teacher in the Abbotsford School District for over 10 years. Five years ago, I was asked to participate in a district committee and 12 teachers were asked to pitch a new and innovative course that combined multiple disciplines. So I pitched this course that would blend art with uh, English and social justice and that became art activism um, as, as we know it today. Each year, our, um, our class explores a different issue. The whole idea of the course is to allow students to have the opportunity to confront the issues of today so that ultimately we can teach them and provide them with the skills to deal with the problems of tomorrow. So each year we look at a different issue and explore that issue by meeting different people in our community and representing their stories through art uh, and celebrating their journeys. I have the funnest job in the world. I absolutely love working with kids. They have so much creativity and innovation and passion and compassion and being able to work with them and help them develop um, their own creative capacities is honestly the most rewarding job in the world. I wish you the 2019 nominees. Congratulations and good luck. My name is Trish and I work with 10,000 Villages here in Langley. 10,000 Villages is a fair trade organization and what we do is we buy product from artisans around the world, particularly in developing countries where they have less opportunity and we buy them at a fair rate so that way they can send the kids to school, have access to health care and then uh, we sell the product here. With our store, uh, one of the great advantages of it, besides helping people in developing countries, is it allows people to experience a culture through their handicraft tradition. The books that we carry here are obviously not handcrafted, uh, but the stories that they share really fit with our mission here with 10,000 Villages to share and educate about how, you know, people do things differently in the world and it's interesting and it just creates such great flavor and, and uh, understanding as well uh, between different peoples. So I think starting kids from a young age to understand that and teach them that helps bring people into more well-adjusted adults. Um, the way that a lot of the global trade is going is about profits first and not people and what we would love to see is people first. I think uh, one of the great things about having such diversity in Canada is, I mean, who needs to travel when you have all this in your backyard? There's so much that you can learn and experience and not having that as part of your life, I don't think you realize how much you lose by not um, being involved with other kinds of people. There's so much that you can enrich your life with and uh, you should just get out there. My name is Ben Champagne and uh, we're here for Little Heroes Hockey Academy. My son has autism and my oldest boy is, he loves hockey, he always wanted to play hockey. But we knew the struggles that it would, would be for him and for, for him to join a league like minor hockey. She came up with a bright idea, she's like, well why don't you start a league then? Start a hockey team, kind of in jest. And I'm like, yeah, I'll just start a league, that, that's what we'll do. This program was designed for kids who wanted to play hockey but had hurdles that would prevent them from doing so. And you know what, they, they take it with stride and they overcome their challenges and to be able to, to provide them with the opportunity to learn and overcome these hurdles is absolutely amazing. They learn about the kids' abilities, not their disabilities, that maybe in a school setting they would never get that opportunity. We aim to make this program um, no charge for the parents because having kids with special needs is a big enough expense as it is. But the way that we are able to make that whole program free is through our community and our community has stepped up in such a massive way. So we ended up accepting donations. Without their help, our program wouldn't exist, which is why we really try and give back to the local community as much as we can because 
it's, it's, it's our whole program, so it's pretty awesome. Now we have a gear donation box in the lobby that gets filled up on a weekly basis. Being in that room at the Culture Diversity Awards last year was one of the best nights of my life. The quality of the people in that room and the way they were all making a difference in their communities was beyond inspiring. What I took out of that room and the stories and the people and the change in their communities, like you guys are rock stars, keep up the good work because I tell my kids all the time, I tell them, you know, change people's lives. If you have an opportunity to change someone's life, do it. And you guys are changing lives, so that's what I'll say.